Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create web services in Java and how you can consume it in Python. So guys, let's start the video. Also guys, if you would like to know how you can create web services in Java and how you can consume it in Java or .NET, then you can watch my videos. I have given link in description box as well as you can click on I button to watch that video. So guys, let's start the video. So guys, let's start the video. So first of all, I have started my NetBeans ID and guys here, I will be creating one new web project. So just go to this file menu and here we have option for new project. Select this and here select the option Java web and from projects select the category as web application. Okay, and click on next button guys. And now here you need to provide the project name. So whatever project name you want to provide, you can provide. Here I'm giving project name as practical one. And guys, then we have a location where you want to save this project. So you can browse wherever you want to save. I'm keeping default and I'm keeping clicking on next button. And now guys, here it's showing me server and framework. So I'm just keeping default and I'm clicking on next and finish button. So guys, you can see my project has been created here, practical one, my project and inside this we have a web pages, right? And now what I will be doing, I will be creating what web service. So just right click on your project name and click on web service. Okay. So new web service and now here you need to give your web service name. So I'm giving my web service name as currency converter. You can give any name. I am giving this name because my aim is what I am going to convert Indian rupees into dollars. So hence I gave currency converter. Give the package name. I have given package name as server and click on finish button. So guys now you can see here I am just expanding this. Uh, you can see in web services folder. Uh, so guys you can see here web services folder has been created and here we have currency converted dot java file and here we have annotation at the red web service so that indicates this is a web service i'm deleting this default method and i'm adding new method so right click anywhere in your code and click on insert code and here select add web service operation now you need to provide your service name or operation name so whatever method you want to build you can give that name over here so i am giving inr to dollar as my operation name and then return type of this operation i am keeping as string because i want to return like inr this much inr is equal to this much dollar and parameter i am uh, taking because I need INR value so click on this add button give the parameter name and give the type and click on ok button so as you can see here the web method has been added this is a web method which is nothing but uh, which will be consumed by what client so annotation is added web method and this is my method name do not change anything if you want anything to be added or if you forgot something to uh, pass to this method or parameter then you can create uh, again one more method do not change anything to this otherwise you won't be getting proper output now guys i'm just writing a proper body to this method so i'm just written code for converting inr to dollar and this is my code and simply i'm printing the indian rupees is this much dollar okay so whatever is the dollar amount just divide it by so my method is done now what we will do we will just deploy this method okay so for deploying you need to just go to what your project right click and deploy so you know guys when you deploy your project this is deployed on your web server okay so if you click on this services tab if you go to server you can see your uh, web services is deployed over there now let's test this web service so let's go to this web service folder just expand it and right click on your web service name and click on test web service so you are going to get this page so here you can see this is the tester page so uh, i'm getting one text box because i have passed one parameter and one button enter something and now you can see the output as you know web services input and output it is going to be in XML format. So here you can see SOAP request and SOAP response. 
So guys, my web service is ready. Now I will be creating client for consuming this web service. So guys, you can have any client. You can have Java client, Python client, .NET client. So here I'm going to show you Python client. So first of all, uh, what I will be doing, I will be installing one package known as zip, z -E -P. So for that, I'm just uh, going to my script folder wherever your python is installed just go to that location go to script folder and then guys here i'm going to type a command pip space install space zip okay so this command is going to install as this command is going to install a module which is going to help us to connect to what web services in java so installation is done guys now i'm going to start my python ideally so here i'm just starting my ideally you can use any other editor also if you want and here i'm going to type a code which is going to connect my uh, python program with what web services in java so here are few lines you can follow this line so first of all guys i'm going to import the library and after that guys i require what wsdl path so the um, services which you have run on your browser you can just go to that services and you can copy the wsdl path make sure your services are running otherwise if you run your client program you won't be getting output so here we need what wsdl path i have created one variable and inside that i'm going to store what this wsdl path so you can go to browser and copy from there or you can come here and go to your uh, java and you can copy here and you can paste it okay so now after that guys i'm creating what uh, this object uh, client object and then I will be calling what the method which I am having in my web services so you have seen I have created uh, currency converter method so here I am just uh, taking the parameter from user so or you can pass directly the value which you want um, what to con to be converted into US dollar so now here i have just passed the variable and i'm calling the method and guys here i'm running my program okay so here it is asking me enter the currency so i've just entered the currency and guys you can see i'm getting my output guys it is very simple code you can use this code so guys i hope by following my video you are able to connect python client to your java web services guys if really my video is helping you then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and guys if you really like my video please hit on like button and you can share my videos with your friend those who are doing this kind of practical also guys if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will reply to you guys and guys i'm sharing lots of pdf notes related to computer science it interview questions freely on my telegram channel i've given all my social media link in my uh, description box you can follow me there also i share lots of content on instagram also so thank you guys for watching my video till end please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video till that bye bye take care and keep learning guys